in today's Ape Course, the Short Rifle Stock Systems Incorporated Bulldog 762 or SRSS Bulldog 762 for short. Hello guys and welcome, my name is Shaved Ape and firstly thank you for joining me. The Bulldog 762, by now many of you will either have tried this, been killed by it or at the very least are in the process of unlocking it, well most of you anyway. And you probably don't need me to tell you if it's good or not. But stick with me here because you never know, this might be more than your average. Oh yeah, this, this, this gun's good, yeah, it's the best gun in the game. The Bulldog 762 is a bullpup design by retired US Marine Sergeant Richard Cabral. Not sure I've pronounced his name right, so I do apologise Richard. See, now we're on first name terms. Its compact stock allows the M14 or M1A to become a true CQB weapon while still having a greater range and more punch than an M4 carbine or carbine. Using space age materials, the Bulldog 762 places the M14 rifle parts in a bullpup stock chassis. The cocking handle is not only farther forward but also makes it ambidextrous. As I've already alluded to, it was developed due to the demand for a short selective fire 7.62 caliber rifle for close quarters combat but without sacrificing maneuverability or range. It has already been adopted by the Philippines Special Forces. Check out www.shortrifles.com to see more on the real life bulldog, including stuff like this. <laughs> what the fuck? As for Battlefield, well, unlocking it isn't so hard really. You need to kill 10 support, 10 engineer, and 10 recon enemies, all while you're on foot as an assault player. Not too difficult at all. You also need to be at least the rank of 10 and have played on a Dragon's Teeth map. Now clearly that's there to stop us all unlocking guns early, like we have done in the past, but it's out there now anyway. And I have seen comments like, it's pay to win. It's available as part of a DLC, so while I can sort of see the reasoning applied, sort of, I can't help finding it. Well, seriously, I mean, come on. You are entitled to your opinion though, and as the CTE continues to balance things in the game, including guns, perhaps this one won't seem so... Ah, fuck it, I'll say it before someone else does. So overpowered. This gun kills quickly, there is no denying that. But the issue here is that the game, in its current state, still has the issues with failing to notify a player that he's actually being hit, which of course leads to claims that guns are OP, easy mode, and so on. Ace 23 springs to mind. The Scar H, yet another one. So many other weapons. Yeah, let's not go there. While the gun does kill quickly, a balance is struck because the gun does require skill from the operator. Let's look at the test range to see what I mean. I'll throw the important stats on screen for those unlike me that actually care about them. As always with these guns, I've taken everything off except the sight just to help me see what's going on, but otherwise there's no attachments at all. And the reason I say this gun requires a little bit of control is because of this. You can see that's quite some recoil, okay? Yes, it's straight up, a little bit of side to side movement, but straight up, but there's quite a bit of it. So. To fix that, of course, I'm going to pull down. I'm going to drag the gun straight down. But as you can see, as I dragged the gun down, and I'll be honest, that wasn't the best I've ever done. Yeah, as I drag the gun down, it's still got a, quite a recoil to it. So I'm going to have to burst fire. Now, as you can see, burst fire, not too bad. Nice close spread. So tap fire, maybe. Yeah, that's not bad at all. First shot recoil on this gun is pretty damn good. If I go single shot, that was a two shot, but single shot, I'm going to hit the same spot every time. You can see there's quite a bit of a jump on the second shot though, even though that was a second shot. So you get the idea. This gun does require some skill to control, but at the same time, that first shot recoil is pretty damn good. 
Those of you that know me know I don't really care about stats. For me, it's much more important to know how it actually performs in-game. And while stats no doubt help you understand, there is no substitute for simply playing the game and using the gun. So attachments wise, I would probably load out with a muzzle brake, any red dot sight, so no doubt coyote for me once it's unlocked, and a stubby or ergo grip. Keep in mind though that loadouts, especially sights, are very subjective and what suits me may not suit you. I probably wouldn't bother to add something like an angled grip as that only really helps with the first shot recoil. And on this gun, the first shot recoil, as I already showed you, isn't bad at all. Okay, and that about sums this one up, I hope. Feel free to let me know if I missed something. But until the next time, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate you giving me your time and sometimes even your patience. And I will see you soon. Hit the annotation on screen now for a random video. And you can of course subscribe as well. Oh and don't forget that like button. I'll see you soon.